Hi everybody and welcome. It's Kevin Kaminsky here. Thought I'd spend a few minutes just to go over something I do every once in a blue moon uh, to troubleshoot the Windows Update client. With Windows Update, you will notice that in the newer versions of Windows 10, uh, they moved away from text logging to event trace logging. So that made it a little bit more difficult to go and read the logs and find out what's going on. Uh, we can use PowerShell to get at the data and have it dumped out on demand, which is fine, but I thought I'd show you something a little bit different in case you wanted something like real-time logging. I know some people would use uh, CM Trace to read the uh, Windows Update log in real-time. Uh, this is something similar. So on this machine, I've already installed uh, Microsoft Message Analyzer. You have to run it as an administrator in order for it to do its job. It takes a moment or two to fire up. It's not too bad. Once it's up and open here, I'm going to click New Session. And with New Session, I'm going to do a live trace. So I want to capture an ETW log. So in this uh, case, I will add a provider. So I'll add a system provider. I can sort my system providers, but more importantly, I can search them. And I'll select Windows Update Client. Click Add To, click OK. Now it's going to be part of my trace. Of course, this part just takes a moment or two, and then when it's ready, I can click Start, and that will fire up my trace. You can see that Message Analyzer in the bottom here is indicating it's uh, tracing away. So what I can do is go to my Start menu, click uh, Settings, Update and Security, and let's just trigger an update evaluation cycle. So it's going to scan and start logging out a bunch of information. A lot of this initial stuff isn't terribly interesting. As we get further on in, you start getting some stuff that might uh, be more interesting, such as we can see the event log entries being written out, uh, indicating what's going on with uh, the uh, Windows Update agent. And then more importantly, as we get further down, I should eventually find it uh, uh, finding updates that need to be installed. And more importantly, I should be able to find something here that would say, for example, this one where it started the installation for a specific update for Windows Defender. So you can see it's pretty cool. You can get a real-time trace. Uh, I know the, the way the data is presented is a little bit noisy, but if you're interested in looking at this data in real time, uh, this is one of the ways you can go about it. So hope this has been useful for you, and until next time, we'll chat again.